welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Tangential Thoughts Chat Show. I'm your chief, Jaha, leader of the Kim Dynasty and the Spiritual Family. It's good to take our planets. We don't ask for what's right for the hours. And on today's episode of Tangential Thoughts Chat Show, we will be reacting, reviewing Black Mirror Season 6, Episode 3, Beyond the Sea. And so... On this episode, this is one of the, it's, it's not too, um, too much beyond your mental comprehension about what's going to happen. Um, but at first, it, it, it seems like it's going to be. So, of course, we got the Jimmy Dean. We got the Jimmy Dean. So... The first thing that kind of happens to kind of throw you off, like, all right, what's going on here? It starts off two different families. One guy, he got, one guy, he's drawing his son and daughter. So me, as an artist, You know, I rock with that. The one dude, he's an artist. He's drawing his sons and daughter, his son and daughter. And, and then while he's drawing them, his wife comes down. She's like, all right, let's go. So they, they rush out, they, they go to the movies. The other guy, they in the countryside. He over here trying to chop a tree in half. So, two different guys here. The one guy, he got two kids. Just that third, he's drawing his kids. He's an artist. And, you know, they live in a fancy house. The other guy, he live in a country. He over here chopping wood, trying to show his son, how, his son how to chop wood and stuff. He's a little more dry. Now, the other guy, it's, and so it's like you, you're watching a parallel between these two. So even while he in the movies, he in the movies and he like, uh, somebody stops and hey, aren't you such and such? He's like, yeah. And they're like, what's it like? Are you like asleep? And he's like, yeah, something like asleep up there. So that's the first part to kind of throw you off. <clears throat> so just to jump ahead, they are, they're really astronauts. And so up in the sky in space, they're asleep, but they have earth replicas on earth. And so that's the that's the first little part that you don't you don't understand until like a little bit later. But in watching the two guys, so you see the one guy he's an artist, he's more uh, passionate, sensual, this and the third. Because even when he goes to like dance with his wife, he kissing on her neck, rubbing on her, he start fingering her and stuff, and then he gets a beat. So oh four four four, that was just a four four four. So then he. Uh, so that's that's one thing, right? He dancing with his wife, he caressing her body, he fingering her, and then he gets a beat. He goes off. The other guy, he he his wife was like, Hey, can you think we can go to the city just to go this and the third? He's like, nah, maybe. You can think about it. I ain't but you can tell he not a real social person. He ain't trying to go out into the city. He ain't trying to be seen. The other guy, he don't mind. The artist, he don't mind being a seen. The other guy, he in the countryside. He, you know what I'm saying? He he chilling, he ducked off. <laughs> And so, so that, but then they first, they get that beat. He gets a beat too. So then when they get that beat, they go back, they go upstairs. They both got like a little room in their house. They go upstairs, they go to their room and they, they transport back to the, the uh, spaceship in space. And so they just check in with each other and it's on the third. And so then like, this is where it then turns, it turns up. So it gets to the next part so to go now the artist the one who lives in a rich house and this time like everyone was born he sleep and then he starts to hear some noises and so this is the um one thing i mean those are too you can have a baseball bat It's like, 
if somebody's breaking into your house, would you rather have a baseball bat or a gun? Those are two things I'd be thinking about. If somebody's breaking into your house, if you have a baseball bat, that means you technically have to get close. I'm not with that. Now, the downside of having a gun is that if you miss, I don't plan on missing. But if you miss, you might leave a hole in your wall. But people, somebody's going to get hurt out this incident. Like, that's my thing about like, like having a gun and like people robbing and stuff now. I would rather you get hit and learn your lesson so you know not to do this shit no more rather than a baseball bat. He comes down, yo. He came downstairs with a baseball bat. It's four people. He like, get out of my house. And they like, oh, look at look at Mr. Machine Man. Listen at third. They testing him. They not leaving the house. Me? After like the first one, like, yo, get out. No, nah, I would I would already been turned up. I would have already been turned up seeing four people in the house at third. And once nobody's moving. Oh, I would have snapped, bro. Like it's a, it ain't no, it ain't no this and the third. I'm t I ain't gonna talk too much longer. If I don't see niggas moving towards the door, I'm swinging at niggas' heads. Like get the fuck out. I would have been so pissed. So he has this baseball bat. He tells him like four times, and after a while, you say like, oh, they're not going nowhere. They really, they really here. And so it ends up being a cult, and the dude is like some. They on something like this is not natural. So everybody knows that he is an earth replica. He's not really a human. Because the girl asked him, she's like, Do you even have a cop? He's just like, Get out of my house. She's like, It's really not to answer me. So they know he's not human. And they're like, What you're doing is not natural. Like, you're not a man in this the third. So, like, but we really want to see. So they, the four of them, or well, it's like four or five of them, I don't know how many, but they tie him down to the table. And they're like, we're just going to see what you're made of. And so they cut his arm off. He don't bleed. But it's like some oil or some liquid or whatever. He's like, a, he's a machine or whatever. And so they're like, oh, this is not right. This is a third. Then they take a hammer. And so he, when they smack him in the head with the hammer, he shoots back up to um, the uh, spaceship. So while he's in the spaceship, he's like, so he he goes to transport back down. Now this is another thing. I don't know if I would have. It's like I don't know if I would have went back, bro. Like, whatever. He he goes back. He teleports back down to Earth. And this time he has his the children, the wife and the children. They're really humans. They're really real. But the cult people are like, yeah, I know that you're real. But what you're doing, you supporting, you live with this man, and this is not natural. This is not the natural order of things. So this is what's going to happen. We're going to kill. We're gonna kill you in front of him and this and that third. So they end up killing the wife and kids in front of him and he watches. And then I think they like burn him or whatever. So that makes the news. And now they shoot back up. But so the thing is, there's the space version of them at work. Got Lake Tahoe, OG Hydro. <laughs> Panic Diamond infused weed. Got some Maui Maui face seeds. <laughs> okay, this is what. I ain't got nothing right now, bro. Well, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep the podcast going. We're gonna keep the podcast going. In the meantime, between time, we're watching episodes. So we're gonna keep the podcast going. So, this is how this basically set up. There's a space version of them, and there's a human replica version of them. The one boy, his human replica is now destroyed. So he can't, he has to stay in space. So the other lady, the other wife, she's like, do you think you want to let him use your link? And I'm like, hmm. So this is when, so he was like, it's just asking, just the thought of it, like, you know what I'm saying, that third. Because the other boy, my dude was an artist, he was well kept. Then he just started losing it, bro. Like he just started, he stopped showering, stopped caring about life. And so he spent all the time in the spaceship. Then, so the dude come back, he said, hey, you think you want to use my link? You know what I'm saying? Just for an hour, just to, you know, so go to the woods, you know what I'm saying? Smell some fresh air, hear the birds. So he does this, right? So the other boy goes down, he switches it. Now he wakes up in the other man's body. And so he wakes up another man's body and um, the wife, the new wife, well, not the new wife, but the other man's wife takes him out to the woods that there. 
And when she takes him out into the woods, he starts crying. And so she just, she just, you know what I'm saying? She's a woman, so she goes to hug him. And you know what I'm saying? Just to console him. Now, the thing is, though, what you already said, the one man, he was an artist. He's very passionate, very sensual. You know what I'm saying? He at least touching his wife. The other man is very, he's more robotic. He's just like in the country, countryside. He's not, he not really touching his wife. He's really detached. So that kind of touches her emotionally. That kind of opens her up a little bit. So then, dude, they go back. He's an artist. He's only supposed to just do it for an hour. He goes back. Dude's like, thank you. And then while he up there, he draws her memory. So he draws their house. So the next time the boy switches back up, um, he's like, hey, man, um, thank you for letting me use your uh, your, your body. Um, you think, he said, just as a thank you, you think I can come back down and, you know what I'm saying, paint? And because I really miss painting and drawing, and you think I can come back down and paint and just as a, a, as a gift. So they go out, they get him all the materials and supplies, and they put him and they put it all in the shed. And then he starts painting or whatever. Painting coming out good. But he's an artist. So when the wife comes around this and the third, he played the music. She hearing this Italian music. And then eventually, like, she had to read. And so he even, uh, whatchamacallit, he even gives her a book a book to read and stuff like that. So it gets, it's like she's starting to get a little closer. So it goes from her just, you know what I'm saying, just going back into the house. Now she in the barn with him. She in the barn with him. Um, she watching him paint. She watching him paint while she reading the book that he, he that he put her onto or whatever. And then they start dancing. And it's like you you knew this. You knew it was gonna happen. You knew it was gonna happen. So then they start dancing. And yes, it's her husband's body, but the other man is in the body. So they start dancing, or whatever. And he do the same thing that he used to do with his old wife. So he, he, he played the music, whatever, he got her, and then he like, uh, he kissed her on the neck, he rubbed her on the chest, he started to, he, so this is when he, I think when he starts to go to try to finger her or whatever, she's like, stop, this is not right, we can't be doing this. So, so daggone, uh, he's like, you know you want it, this not a third, like, so he didn't, he not even like shy or scared about what he's doing, like, you know you want it, you like this on the third, boom, boom, boom. She's like, this not right, my husband up there, this not a third, da, 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 so. Um, then the, they got a, the other man, he only has one son. So the son comes in there. Oh, so this is, so this, this all happens in one little thing. So he tries to make a move at the wife. She not going for it. And then the son, why? So when the wife goes into the house, he's still trying to explain to her. He's still trying to make her, you know what I'm saying? Do the do. And then, so while he's in there, when he come back, the little boy messed up the painting. The little boy that messed up the painting. And so all you see is him go towards the boy. And then it cuts back to them going upstairs. Not, I mean, up, up in space. So they go back in space. And so he was like, hey, you good? He's like, yeah, thanks. He says, yeah, sure. Everything's all good. Right there, boom. He walks off. Usually he's more thankful when he comes back up. This time he was like, sure, yeah. And he goes and he moves. So the wife was like, yo, he hit the boy upside the head. He, and so the, 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 the dad was like, so well, I mean, he's a he's a boy. He, you know how he is. He does need some reprimand. He gotta be staying stay in line sometimes. It's not a third, and so she's like, nah, this not a third. Boom, boom. So she don't really tell him that. You know what I'm saying? He made a pass at her, but she tells him that you know uh, that she not that she don't want to come down there no more, um, and that she done hit up, hit the boy upside the head. So I forget what happens, but. Then uh, there was one time they were switching. They had switched, and he goes into his room. And when he goes into the artist's room, he's like, he sees that the artist has been drawing his wife naked. And so he like, <laughs> he finds out that the artist been drawing his wife naked. So he see the other pictures, but then he see, but then he found the pictures of the artist says, oh, so the artist beeping back up. And he's like, yo. He's like, here, he throw the pictures at him. He thought it, cause he thought the pictures of what the artist has been drawing his wife naked. He's like, you need to explain this. And he was like, yeah, man, it's just a fantasy. And it's not a third, boom, boom, boom. He's like, nah, bro, like this not gonna happen, this not happen anymore. He's like, this is my wife. This is da da da, she's mine. She's mine forever, this not a third. Never gonna be yours, this not a third, da da da. And then he switched back down. And then when he go back down though, now, now he's snapping his wife too. Cause you know what I'm saying? And you gotta understand, like he wasn't there, so he gotta take his wife's word for it. But at the same time, he see that the man been drawing his wife naked. And so he was like, yo, he draws from memory. So so you been posing for him? You been this and that? She's like, no, I 
told you that he that he'd hit the sun upside the head. I told you to stop telling him to come down here. This and the third. And she was like, well, dang, you remember? Like he at least touched me. He at least felt. He at least made me feel seen. He at least made me feel wanted. This and the third. Like and she's like, I wish he did touch me. I wish he did want me. This and the third. But she talked about him. And so, so then, like, he goes to hug her, and so he kind of understands, like, okay, yeah, I have been, like, detached, like, I haven't been touching my wife, I haven't been, you know, so this on the third. So, um, but then when he shoots back up, he's like, yeah, bro, like, you're not coming down no more. So the dude was some stuff, well, hey, can I at least finish the painting? He was like, nah, we ain't doing this, we ain't doing no more. <laughs> and so, I think that was, I think that's what had tried to got him. He tried to, he tried to finish the painting. That's why he had let him down like one more time. He was like, all right, one, one or two more visits, he's gonna let him finish painting on the third. But then after that, once he found the picture, he's like, yeah, it's not happening no more. So then, um, so then he not letting the boy come back down into the jank. So the other boy is stuck in space. Now, and he done punched him too. So after he found out the pictures of his wife is on the third, he done punched him. He's like, nah, we're not switching no more. And so you staying up here and you, you mess your stuff up. I ain't mess my stuff up. Then he gets a beat, like an emergency. Like, hey, come back up, come back up, come back up to space. So he goes back up to space and he's like, what's the emergency? He's like, yeah, there's a there's been an accident over here. Um, you gotta go out there and fix it. So he go outside to go fix it. He the astronauts. So he go outside on the joint, he's like, bro, like I don't see nothing, what's going on? The boy not responding. So he's like, so he goes back in. He's like, boom, boom, boom. Yo, David, let me in. Boom, boom, boom. David, let me in. And then finally, David's late coming back. So he's like, where were you? He's like, I was in the bathroom. He was like, I just went out to go fix this little problem with this little leak that you supposedly done beat me back up for. That was an emergency, and you got to go to the bathroom. Like you can't wait, you can't hold it. And then so he just had a third He's like, yo, where's my uh, my dog tag? So before he goes out in space, he had to put everything on a tray. And so when he he putting all his stuff back on his watch and stuff, he's like, yo, where my tag at? The boy pulls the tag out of his pocket. The boy runs, he run back, he go back in, he go back to his earth body, and he like, he start, he just, you know, he, you, you know, you've been on Instagram, you've seen them comments, I broke down, I just fell to my knees in, in Walmart crying. That's, he just broke down, he like, oh, like, <laughs> so you never really see what, John, but he, so the other boy, since his wife and what you call it got killed, and now that he done tricked this whole thing up, he kills the other man's uh, wife and son. And so the man shook. He come back up, and the other astronaut, he don't even, this is, this how, this how, it was so cold, bro, it was so cold. He kicked the chair. Like, it's only two chairs. It's only them two in the spaceship. So the other, he already sitting down at the table. He kicked the other chair, like, sit down. He don't say nothing, but he just kicked out the other chair like. And the joint is so cold, cause it's like, there's nothing you could do. And that's why the joint is just so, it's so like, this is why I, did, I didn't like this episode. Cause it left him in the position like, what you supposed to do? I done killed your wife and your son. So just like my wife and people were killed. Like now you have nobody to go back to. There's no reason for you to go back down there. And they're the only two on the space mission. So it's like, what is he supposed to, there's nothing he can do. He has to sit down. He has to talk to this man who killed his whole life. And he's like, yo, son, bro. And so it's just like, yo, son, if that was me, I would have never talked to bro for like, like even though we in space and it's only us two, I would have never talked to bro. Like that would have been it, bro. Like yeah, we just would have never been talking. Like I might've killed him. <laughs> I don't care if you're the only person I know. <laughs> I don't care if you're the only person I know and you're the only person I have to see for the rest of my life. Bitch, I would have killed you too. Like this is not the way this shit supposed to go. Hell no, bro. That shit was tragic, bro. And because, oh, because the other part of it is, is like, technically, technically, he could he could still go back down to Earth. Like, he, he didn't mess up his sleeve, like his earthly body, his earthly replica. So, yeah, that would have been it for bro. Like, I, would, I, didn't, I wouldn't have cared no more about the mission. I would have killed him. I would have came back down to Earth, and I would just live the rest of my days on Earth as a replica, as a machine. Fuck everything else. Like, you're not about to do that, bro. You're not about to. Hell no. That joke was messed up, bro. So, that was uh, episode three. That was episode three. Um, I started episode four, but, you know, it's two o'clock in the morning. But, you know, it's like you got the energy, but then you don't got the energy. And then you be falling asleep, and I got to keep rewinding. So, I'll be watching it, and I'm like, rewind, 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 and keep trying to catch up. 
But it's this one joint. She's a lady, so I'm gonna start this one and I finish it next time. So the one lady, she is a uh, she a she paparazzi. So it stopped with her in the car, right? She's like, "Yo, you sure they here? I don't see nobody." It's in the third. She waiting outside this hotel room. So then he's like, "Yeah, this in the third. As soon as that woman call it, she wake up. They yeah, come out inside the hotel room. Two dudes." Chica, 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 chica. So, mind you, she trying to just on the third, like, clean up something in her car. Dude knocks on her window, like, hey, uh, can I get those pictures? I'll pay you $500 on that third one. Boom. She don't say nothing. She like, let me get up out of here. She been off. She's crazy. She gone. She the dude, and he like, all right, uh, I'm going to pay you, uh, like, whatever. She's like, come on, bro. Like, this on the third. He said he's going to pay me this much. You got to pay me this much. This on the third. So, he pay her, like, whatever for the, for the money, for the uh, pictures. Then... Uh, that she was on a solo mission right then. Then she was on the other jump, and this is where it's like some other some other little random celebrity, but she with the other paparazzi. And this is where you see like all the paparazzi know each other, they joking, and then the third. But then she kind of like watched it, and she don't really partake in this one, cause it's like they say stuff to the celebrities like, oh I saw your sex tape, oh yeah you wanna just end the third one with boom. And so the other the celebrity like she hearing all this, and so she wanna react, but she can't. She can't react for her because then they're going to be like, I'll sue you. And they, 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 this, that's a check for them. If you hit them, they're going to sue you. My lawyer will come after you. Blah, 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 blah. But they saying all this outrageous stuff. So the other girl, she just watching it. So she's like, mm, I don't know if I'm really trying to do this too much longer. Then she ends up, uh, she ends up, work, she had the bar or whatever. Come to find out the dude that she took a picture of, he was cheating on his wife with a man. So the fact that they got out that he was gay and they the pictures and the evidence out, he hung himself, he killed himself. And so the paparazzi is cold. They're like, you shouldn't have been doing what you was doing. Like, you, you knew shit was going to come to light eventually. Like, if you can't handle it, you know what I'm saying? Don't be doing that. Don't be doing the dirt if you can't, you know what I'm saying? Handle the consequences. So, uh, so she, but she feel bad though. Like she the one that took those pictures. She the one that leaked this information that made him kill herself. So she feeling bad about that. Bailey! Baby. So she feeling bad about that. Then, um, now there's a new, there's this other, they switched to this other uh, actress. And so she's on set or whatever. But for some reason, I don't know what was going on. She, I guess she by herself. And so she drinking her wine, she a little drunk. And I think she cuts her hand. So I think she goes to get band-aid. I think this is why she even left the house, but she drunk. So she drinking, she a weird drunk though. She looking at her cut of her hand. She like, eh. <laughs> she look at the cut of her hand. And they say, you know, doop, doop. she like, oh shit. <laughs> you, now, I don't know if you, I don't know if you ever been drunk and the, but there's certain shit that wake you up. Like, you like, oh nah, this, like, this is real, real. I gotta sober up. So uh, she hit somebody. So she stopped. She she and then she opened the door, and then it cut to the next scene or whatever. So there's another. That's another talking point. Like let's say if you hit somebody, right? Let's say you ran somebody over. Would you get out the car? Would you call the ambulance? Would you call the police? <laughs> and mind you, she was drunk. So would you call the police and would you call the cops, knowing they're gonna they're gonna get you for being drunk and hitting this person and you gonna go for a homicide, so like all this stuff, right? You gonna go down. Or you could just leave the scene and you can live the rest of your days, <laughs> right? What would you do? This is some real life shit. I mean, niggas, niggas, niggas be saying certain shit until they end the situation. Niggas like, oh, I would call, I would do the right thing and call the cops and da da da. Yeah. And then when it actually happened, like, yeah, I played the scene. I wasn't staying around for this. So, uh, so that, but that's what she ends up doing, right? So the next morning, I think she calls like an Uber or whatever, and. Uh, so the Uber, when she in the Uber, they like, yeah, it's uh, the cops here. I gotta go this way. Oh, she in the, she in the Czech Republic too. She's she not even in the United States. So, but she speaks English. Um, so, but she's in the Czech Republic. So she's like, what were they talking about? She was like, yeah, I think somebody died. It was a man. She's like, it was a man. And so that lets you know right there, she fled the scene. She did not, the cops had just found the body in the morning. And so she didn't come. So uh, then, but now she is messed up in the head and this is some shit. They always talk about 
you when you kill a person, it change your heart. When you cheat on somebody, it just change your whole shit. Like, and when you do something fucked up, <laughs> it just change. Like, you you hear it a lot as stories. Like, even a person, even a lady who killed Emmett Till, when she falsely accused Emmett Till, she even on her deathbed was on like niggas. It be bothering niggas like they always have a switch or whatever. And so some niggas like I'm gonna take this to my grave, but they can't handle it. Like mentally, they just can't handle what they did. So. She leaves the Czech Republic. She goes back to the United States. And then, so now one lady, she she didn't want to be a paparazzi no more, but they're like, yeah, um, but now she behind, she behind on her rent. And the dude that she with, like, he low-key wanted to tell her, like, yo, I can't support your lifestyle anymore. I need you to let's go ahead and leave this. And so she was like, yo, I'm had of money. So then they're like, the actress, they're like, yo, she hasn't been seen. And if somebody even gets a picture of her, it's 30,000. So, um, she go doing her research on the third. Now she she had, in the magazine it says that she likes to eat at this one place and she can't live without going a week of eating at this one place. So she goes to the one place and she was like, um, she just you know what I'm saying you throw it out you, th you know you fishing you fishing for some information. She throw it out there. She's like, oh yeah, I heard of such and such like to eat here. And the, the little Asian man like, mm -hmm. and then but the lady who actually delivered the food, uh, so she ended up, she did end up eat, ordering some food. And so the lady that delivered the food was like, yeah, I saw her at some old uh, director's house or whatever, some rich director's house. So she pulls up. And so she started taking the pictures there. And this is when I started dozing in and out. This is when I started dozing in and out. So those were the two episodes. Of, that was one and a half episodes of Black Mirror, or one and a quarter. No, 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 one and a, yeah, I said one and a quarter. I watched like 20 minutes. Um, the other thing about Black Mirror though, they see they seasons they don't you know how some people have like eight to ten episodes they be having like four to six so it ain't that many episodes left of this uh season season six uh, so that's that now i was thinking about writing doing a mixtape i was thinking about doing a mixtape so i'm gonna give y'all the behind the scenes i'm gonna give y'all a preview to the mixtape <laughs> now because i was watching glorilla and Glorilla was on, I was watching Glorilla when she was on Club Chase. I was watching a little drunk. She was like, you know, I have my album. And, you know, she was like, she write better. She just like, you know what? I'm gonna just have fun with this. Like, instead of saying like, an album is like too much pressure. Her other drunk, she was like, uh, she had an EP in the album, but then she was on some stuff like, um, if I just treat it like a mixtape, it ain't that bad or whatever. So this time I'm gonna do my mixtape. I've been thinking of like some songs in businesses, not songs and businesses, um, just some uh, some beats that I kind of want to do, right? Some classic beats. Now, it's going to be a YouTube mixtape. Why is it going to be a YouTube mixtape? That means I can always update it. Because right now, I'm trash. But when later, it's gonna be, shit going to be hot, and it's going to be like, oh. And, and right, right now, it's not. But one day, it's going to be hot. Stuff like that, right? So I was like, I got a couple sections. I got a couple sections. I was trying to figure out what some beats I could really do. So I got my, of course you got your rap and your hip hop section, but then I had my R&B section. Now the R&B is kind of hard, but I kind of did Chris Brown popping already. I kind of did that. So then I said country, I had my country section, I got my Jamaican section, right? So for the rap section, I was like, you swag sir. That's a Thomas beat. Nuck if you buck, nasty song. I really like nasty song. Lil Baby Freestyle, grinding, and then what came to me was P.I.M.P. That 50 Cent Jane, right? So that was the first one I did. <sighs> All right, here go, here go. I ain't, I need to practice, but this is my practice. This is my practice. So I'm gonna play the PIMP beat. I'm gonna play the PIMP beat, and then uh, I'm gonna just practice my rhymes. Look, look, look. See, you see my instrument. I was looking at the instrumentals. Uh, I was looking for uh, Usher Confessions instrumentals. All that. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm not a rapper. Okay, but look, here you go. All right. I'm at, this is my practice session, bro. All right, we gotta get past the commercial. Good snooze, you're gonna sleep great. I'm not a rapper. I'm just a content creator, but you really a hater. My mind stay on paper, your mind stay on later. That's why my mindset greater, and your bitch is a hoe. I told you not to date her, but you had the couple. That ain't keeping it player. You supposed to keep up. Uh, I 
that's my practice. My practice. This is the last, this last little part. I gotta catch the run. I gotta catch the beat. I got I got the words down. I just gotta make sure I can catch catch the beat and stay on flow. That's the jump. I be writing some stuff, but then it's like, all right, how can I mix it up, move the words around so that it just matches the beat? All right, that, that was a little that was a little uh, jank jank for that. Then here I had did my Jamaican beat. Now you know this one. Now there was no instrumental for this one, so I ain't really using the instrumental. I'm just stay over top of one part of her. And I'm also, I'm only going to hit with the, um. <laughs> this is the Paul Harris one. Here we go. Oh, uh, you can't let it play for too long, cause then they gonna they they, they gonna go back to your stuff and listen for the what you gonna call it. So I gotta I, I gotta let, let it breathe, let it breathe, let it breathe. Then people know what's coming. They know what's coming. They know what's coming. Bum bum. I'm waiting for that. So I, okay. Now this one I was just I just I just went in and I didn't even really try to bro. I'm trying to be on the island, smelling chicken that's frying, stroking some buns in the sun, about to give me the neck and some having some fun. This shit gonna swallow when she done, I'm drinking my rum. Whatever. I gotta practice that. Okay, I'm trying it one more time. Cause that one was easy. Okay. Okay. That one's supposed to be easy. I'm trying to be on the island, smell some chicken that's fine. Choking some buns in the sun, getting the neck cause it's fun. Then she swallow when I'm done, and I'm drinking my rum. Boom. That was bum bum. Now, grinding was the hardest one to do, bruh. That beat was hard to do. That one was hard to do, boy. Nah, I think I found that in the middle. Okay. Talk about a beat that's crap. We used to sit in the back and beat on the tables. We wasn't talking about fuck. <laughs> this one hard. I got this one hard. You really got to stay on beat for this one, bro. It's like talk about a beat that's crap. We used to sit in the back and beat on the tables. We wasn't listening to the teacher talking about no favors. Beat sound like horses in the stable. Hold up, yeah, bro. You gonna hear this, Jane? Hold up. Talk about a beat that's crap. We used to sit in the back and beat on the table. We wasn't listening to the teacher talking about no favors. Beat sound like horses in the stable. I'm talking rappers with no labels. <laughs> and then it goes something about some. I'm talking about the people who can't provide, so they stream through cable. You know, they move from shelter to shelter homeless because their living situation ain't stable. I was gonna do some shit like that. I had three rhymes, I had three rhymes. You know, the effort was there. The effort was there. I was writing them down. I was writing them down. It's about the intention, baby. The intention was there. I was writing this all down in my poetry book, in my freestyle book. Um, so that's my little John. That's my, pra I need to practice it. Bailey! Bro, having a dog will teach you how to live differently, bro. Now I got some zip on floor. Got some zip on floor. No. I have this lighter and I have this lighter. What's the difference between the two? So that's what we're gonna kind of see. It's actually this is actually gonna be kind of a good test here because it's windy outside, and these are supposed to be windproof lighters. So if you ever watch me on my cigar talk. You know, I be struggling to get stuff lit up. I be with my matches. I be having my matches. My matches be going out. Um, I got I got mad lighters, bro. I got mad lighters. I can't wait until they start sending me lighters for free. This is just me manifesting, just scripting. They's like, yo, here's, just go, here, here's a lighter, here's a free lighter. You know what I'm saying? I've had situations where I've gotten free cigars. I can't wait to do this. Where it's all coming together, where it's like, I get free lighters, free cigars, free energy drinks, and just do the cigar talk mukbang for free. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait, can't wait. 
I'm also been thinking about doing a dining dash, bro. Just been thinking about doing a dining dash. You see the, the little flame, the little flame. Um, but now these two lighters here, like I wanted to actually do an actual video, which I possibly may do later when I actually get us some, some more cigars or some more uh, tobacco. And let the ball go, bro. <laughs> She'll bring me the ball and have it in her mouth and won't let go of it. Now, one's a star lighter and one's a Zippo lighter. Now, if people who, you know what I'm saying, smoke, they, they, they might be familiar with the two brands. If you're not familiar with the two brands, one is the actual, one's the OG, and one's the knockoff. So, I'm not going to be, I'm not, I'm not afraid, I'm not ashamed to say that this one is actually the knockoff. Now, I didn't know it. It was a gift to me. And now this is before I even was smoking cigars or anything. Like I didn't know nothing about it. So I actually, I had, my first time using this cigar, I put it, I had it on video. My first time using it um, was like uh, like last month or so. And cause for the longest time I was like, yo, you, you know, you buy a lighter, you can just use it. These lighters don't come pre-filled. So it was like, yo son, I don't know how to use this lighter. I don't know where to get Zippo look fuel. I don't know where to get this fluid from. Like that's an added thing. You gotta start to get more stuff to use whatever you got. It's like buying a remote control car that don't come with the, the batteries. Like, yo, so I gotta go buy the batteries too? It's like it's like that. So the thing about the Zippo lighters is that they, they have a lifetime guarantee. You know what I'm saying? And you can always just get them replaced. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna actually fill this one up. So it, for specs wise, so that you can see, and I also just kind of got this. I thought it was cool just because, um, how do I say this? Uh, one is gold and one is silver. I said that the, one is gold and one is silver. And so I just think that's cool to have, you know, as a man, uh, like I got a silver watch and I got a gold watch. It's just stuff like that. Now, looking at it, right? Look very similar, look very similar. And so the OG one, the actual official brand, if you see that second row has two dots, the second row here only has one dot. Slight, small stuff, ain't even, it's, it's a small difference, but yes, that extra dot does matter. You know what I'm saying? The extra dot does matter. So that's one thing. Uh, so I actually haven't filled this one up before, so I'm gonna wait for that one. But I've actually filled this one up. Hopefully it's just the same. Um, but you're supposed to take it out yeah, so this little clip right here, this clip part, you pull that up and then you pull this up and you take it out. Um, now from here, it says lift to fill. And I think that's like, I think that's like the tech, tech, technical actual way you're supposed to do this stuff. But you know how you kind of go based off of who taught you. So when I'm at the cigar shop and I asked him about this, he this is how he taught me. He he lift all he do all this extra stuff. So it's like a little hole right here in the middle, and he just put it in there and he kind of just wet it all up. So we're just gonna do that. You gotta make sure you wipe everything off. You gotta make sure you wipe everything off, any excess. So I'm gonna put that back in there. Push that down. And then you pull this part back right here. And that kind of just locks it in place. Um, now I also saw some cool things some guy did he was like he was doing something where you just pinch it and it open or something like that people get nice with it I'm, I'm pretty sure you can only imagine the things that people would do so there's this one this is the starlight thank you for engaging and voting on the poll thank you for engaging and voting on the poll now 
now we're gonna fill this one first time i'm filling this one up uh first thing first i will say about just even opening the two now this one was a gift that somebody gave me and it was like customized so this one is generic and uh, it's about 11 i'll just say 12 dollars because i'm not like with tax and whatnot this was about 12 dollars at walmart and so i'm not like i'm pretty sure this one probably cost more because the way it was made it's out there but i'm not sure how much an actual starlighter costs so this one actually opens up a bit easier but i'm not sure if that yeah it just opens up easier it opens up easier so this is my first time opening this one up okay uh, so same thing same thing on the bottom um just looking if you saw the bottom of that one it also said lift to fill it also said lift to fill but the lift to fill these are small subtle differences but the lift to fill were in smaller font this one this lift to fill is actually like a bigger type of font or whatever um so i'm gonna lift this up real quick uh, yeah it ain't about nothing so we're gonna keep this here we'll keep that here just like we did that and we're just gonna it's my first time using this, so mm -hmm. all right. Now we about to just tap this in. I'm just gonna part pouring in there into that hole. And again, you're gonna have to have Zippo fluid uh, when you get this to start using it. These lighters do not come pre-filled. They do not come pre-filled. That is a business, ain't it, boy? They sell lighters and they sell fluid. <laughs> okay, I'm just not sure about, okay. All right, I think I got it. That's why it's full. Okay. Uh, so let's wipe that off, wipe any excess off. Um, so yes, this is an actual Zippo lighter. This is an actual Zippo lighter. Right. So let's put that down. Let's put that in there. All right. So let's get the two. Let's get the two. Let me put my gloves on and my scrubs on just in case I got any excess fluid on my hands. Dr. Carter to the rescue. Excuse me if I'm late, but like a thief, it takes time to be this great. So, um, so just wait. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm trying to figure. I don't want to do them right next to each other. All right. We see one. We see two. All right. So you can see both of them. Now they're supposed to be windproof lighters. They're supposed to be windproof lighters. Um, just looking, we're gonna do this one more time, but it seems like the Zippo had a higher, like a bigger flame. So we'll close that up. We'll try this one more time. We'll see. But it looks really good. It looks really good, it held up. All right, so I'm gonna light the first, this one first this time. All right, now, under same condition, under same and similar condition, it's like which flame is going to hold up here? It is a windy day outside, slightly windy. Yeah, this uh, this Zippo flame is huge. This Zippo flame is huge in comparison. So, Now, was that a true comparison, a true test? Not sure. Why? Because I've been had this lighter. I've been using it for about a month or so. This lighter is new. This is my first two times just lighting it up just now. This is my first time ever using this one. So the newness of this could be reason why the flame was higher. And the reason I say that is because the wick, I think you can tell this wick is white. I think you might be able to tell. This look, it, this look the wick, that wick right there is is like gray or black 
and then, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it, it is clean. It's not that it's not clean, it's, it's dirty. It's clean. But that wick is black right now. So I've been using it a lot more. Not a lot more, but I've been using it, so. But that was a comparison. Um, this flame, the wind resistant part of it, it's just, they both, you know what I'm saying? Of course it's gonna be, anything, it's, the wind's blowing is gonna be affected by the wind. But this flame did seem higher. The flame did seem higher. So. And so, if I gotta choose between one or the other, it definitely seems like this one. It just seems like, yeah, it's still gonna blow, but this wind, I'm gonna get a bigger flame, even though it's windy outside. And that way I can still light up whatever I'm trying to do. Like, if you've never tried to light a fire in, in this windy outside, yeah, yes, fire needs air to even just be able to exist. But if it's windy outside, you're not getting too far. You're not getting too far, so. That flame is gonna go out as soon as you spark up. So I'm just trying to fill it for the heat. Cause I know I know this one will get warm. Now I officially have a cool super lighter. And I I even like this more that is blank like this, because you know me, I'm an artist, so I'm, I'm probably gonna try to draw on this. Um I might write Kim Dynasty or Graffiti Jump. You know what I'm saying? We'll put some up there. Put some little design up here. Now me being delusional, I go from being the cigar band artist, I'm gonna be a lighter artist too. And you saw my first cigar band that I made. Now we're gonna see, this is gonna be the first lighter I get to design. Cause it's blank, it don't got nothing on it. So this one got something on it. This got my first, my first uh, art company was called Brand Release. Then I switched the name to Kim Dynasty. Now I'm about to switch everything to Graffiti Jungle. So I'm gonna figure out what I wanna write on this. My Sharpie, I actually got a Sharpie. I ain't gonna put no flame or no star on this. Can't put no flame or no star. I'm gonna just write on it. I need a smaller uh, Sharpie. This Sharpie too big. I'm just gonna, I ain't gonna write neatly. I ain't gonna write neatly. All right. That was pretty good because this was on some. Uh, I, I practiced my freestyles. I don't, I'm trying to think. Like last time I at least had some old content to edit. I, had, I was editing my. Um, the stuff from Wendy's. I did the cigar talk at Wendy's. I lit up in Wendy's and so I was like, let me, I have to edit that into a short. Billy! No. Um, nothing, you know, you gotta sit there and wait until you get there. Like sometimes it's okay to just, you know what I'm saying, relax until you receive the energy. Like, okay, yeah, go do this, go do this, go that. And then like, that's what, that's what I'm waiting for now. Like, all right, what's the, that next hint? I, you know how life is just supposed to open up to you and show you, like, that's what they say, like, life is a big part of waking up to who you used to be. <laughs> you, like, you left hints here for yourself to pick up and left clues and you're supposed to figure out that stuff again. So I'm waiting for that next hint, that next urge. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go this direction, I'm gonna go do this. But I practiced my freestyles. I did a comparison with the Zippo lighters. And cause, you know, I had to get out the mindset of, uh, like the content to put out. Cause at first I would wait for the perfect time and the perfect moment, you know, the, the perfect time, the perfect never never comes. And like, so like, why did I, like, I was gonna wait until to do, to fill the both Zippo lighters up and do a comparison until I got my next cigar. But Billy! But I just remember I was waiting for the perfect time to get, I wanted to do, get people. See, I see, she came by looking at her lips and I was like, what the fuck is you here? Fuck was you here, man? Come here. Come here. She knows she's in trouble. So. I was waiting for the perfect time in the moment to do a tour of my Jeep. The moment I was waiting for, I was waiting to get a solar generator, a solar power generator. 
That was the last thing I was waiting for. But I didn't have the money for it. I didn't have the money for it. And I felt like that was one of the last things I would need to like go live, you know what I'm saying, on the road. Like, I felt like I had everything else. I was almost ready. Now, it's like, once the Jeep got taken, you started to think like, damn, the shit I never did with the Jeep that I always wanted to do with it. Um, but I always wanted to show people how I was living in the gym, bro. I could do a house tour it. Um, and so, now that's how I was like, you know what? Let me just, I just, I gotta at least get the content out now. And then, like, that's not my practice for the So, like, even if I wanted to later, I mean, I can say, hey, I did my little comparison just now. And later, I can do my comparison. I can make, I can make an actual video later. I'm doing it on the live now. I can make an actual video later. Um, so, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get out. All of those, get, I'm trying to get all, all that energy, man. Like the whole, like even right now when I just practice the freestyles, like I eventually I do gotta sit there and do it cleanly. You know what I'm saying? I do it cleanly, and I gotta get used to just being able to be in front of people and stuff. So yeah, there's a little nervousness, anxiousness, energy, but get through it. You know what I'm saying? That's what it, it's energy. Use it. And so that's why I had to practice it just now and just keep going. So at least practice it. At least got it out of the way. So now, cause it's like, you keep doing something and then the next time you do it, there's so much, you don't have as much uh, anxiety around the whole situation. So like, when I did my pop-up shot, I at least, like I told you, I got that jacket and that snake just so I could do it. You know what I'm saying? That gave me the courage to go out there and do it. And so I ended up doing it again, but the second time, I didn't care as much. I was like, bro, I done did this. I already done, I didn't put myself out there. I didn't embarrass myself enough with it. So it's like, go out there and just, you know what I'm saying, do it this time. So you you get you started to get to a point where it doesn't phase you because you done been through the, the embarrassing part. I like that. It was a quote I shared last night on I saw it on Instagram, but I put it on the threads, you know what I'm saying? And just like yeah, the reason I be sharing certain shit, I be using this shit as like a a digital archive. Like take pictures and videos, and then just put it on the socials. That's your digital archive, bro. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can, like, even if there's a picture that you don't really kind of like, post that shit on what you call it, and then delete it from your phone so it ain't in the memory on your phone. Like, you, you see what I'm saying? That's how I kind of use this shit. So, um, it said, yeah, it's gonna be hard when it. It's gonna be difficult in the beginning. <laughs> Okay, so the quote says, it may seem difficult at first, but everything is difficult at first. Yes. And it's like, get over the at first part. Take that first step. Take that first whatever. Now, I be in such a conundrum because I take, I've taken a lot of first steps. And I just, it's still where from here. What's the next step? Like, I've taken a lot of first steps in a lot of different directions. Like, cause you know, I, I still, even if I'm not, you know what I'm saying, doing the tarot reads myself, that's how I still look at them. And some of them even be on some shit like, you know, you, so, so somebody says something that you just, it really resonates with you, it sticks with you, or motivates you, you know what I'm saying? And the one guy was, 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 was like, yo, I feel like you've made, like, it, it wasn't a personal for me, it was just a general change, but he was like, yeah, he's like, I feel like you've made a lot of changes and there's no going back. And I was like, that's exactly how I feel. I was like, yes, bro. I was like, because it was like, because I, I I literally went to the school just to be like, should I go back to teaching, man? I, got, I walked in and dude told me to come back, you know what I'm saying, for an interview and this on the third, da, 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 and send my resume in. I ain't going to do that shit. But it was like, it's literally that, bro. Like, there's no point of going back. Like, that's like going back to your old self. And it's like, why did you leave in the first place? And it's like, you, weren't, you wasn't happy there. You wasn't okay there you are uncomfortable in that shale it's like that like the turtle right it's like i think the turtle has to leave one shell and go into another one and 
if you wasn't comfortable in this turtle shell, you had to, you're growing, you're getting bigger, so you have to find a new shell. And that's what I'm, trying, I'm really trying to figure out, man. I'm really trying to figure out. Like, there is a, there's a, because you, you, I think, I think a lot of people can realize this. There's a version you could, because somebody said it funnily, they said it jokingly. They said, I'm about to take these $3 and start a new life. And there has been like stories of people who do this. <laughs> There's been stories of people who actually do this. But it's like, they just up and leave their entire life. It, like, fuck the stability. Your old life ain't stable. So, that was, that was one of my big things. I was like, yo, I'm living paycheck and pay to paycheck, scrambling, not happy doing my days this way. I might as well be scrambling, living da -da -da, doing stuff that I want to do. That was one of my big things. Like, that's why I was like, yeah, that's why I'm not going back to teaching. Um, they're like, you ever thought about going back into, I guess, this place or this place? And I'm like, no, bro. I'm trying to see, like, if we down here for an experience, we're trying to experience a lot of shit, like, and you still, you still alive and you still living. Now, of course, there's going to be certain things that you probably want to stay, stay away from. If you're not you know, something like, so for me, I want to do the dining dash, right? Now, dining dash, and, you know, that's a, that's some shit, right? That's some shit. And so, I'm pretty sure I would get away with it. <laughs> but... Yeah, man, it, it's stuff like that. It, but it's on some. Before you, the question was: Before you die, what do you want to do? What's something like that you? And it's like, and that's the thing. Like, if you had one more, if you had one week to live, right? Because they they used to say, would you want to know how you're going to die or when you're going to die? Both of the two are precarious situations. That even that's information that is, you know, what I'm saying to even be in. Because if you know how, what are you going to do? You're going to try your best to avoid anything, any situation that can, you know what I'm saying, be like that, right? You're going to try to avoid it. But then the surprise is that ends up happening. Like, this is final destination. This is that final destination. They're like, I'm going to try to avoid da -da 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 -da, my karma. <laughs> and this is stuff happen anyway. Even worse, even more traumatic, even more dramatic. So it's that. But if you knew when, there is so much anxiety behind that. If it came down and it's your last week of life and you know it and you're like, bro, I'm about to die tomorrow. You be like, you, the things that you would say and do, like, yeah, there's some good parts about you that you want to say the There's some negative parts too that you just, you just gonna let out. You're not gonna care about X, Y, and Z no more. You're gonna go out here and go ahead and do this, that, and the third. And you would, because if, if you don't, because the fact that you don't know, if you ever get zoop, zapped up, you like, man, I never even got to do boom, boom, boom. If I knew, I would have did boom, boom, boom. It's stuff like that, bro. It is stuff like that. And so I remember walking with this one. I was in the park. I was walking with this one guy. And he was like, I think everybody should try it. I said, try what? He said, dying. Huh? <laughs> and so his thing was, he had been in a situation. He had went up on some mountain. Is the weather was bad and it's at third. He didn't really know if he's on whatever. But he it got to a point where his life he like his life flashed up. It's like it woke him up. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, I can't be living like this or I gotta live like differently. Like there's a lot of people like something happens to them where it's just like it wakes them up and now they gotta live like differently. And but that was his, that was his, he said something crazy, but then it's like, you see the message behind that. And that's for a lot of people. A lot of people, they get to a situation where it's like, I gotta do something different. I gotta live different. I can't live like this, bro. Like you be moseying and just moseying along and just da 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 da. And then something happened like, uh, cause I think the one joke was, uh, you be saying people, people who live good and they're trying to do their best to do good and bad things still happen. 
Hey, they say when the sun shine, it shine on the good and the bad. When it rain, it rain on the good and the bad. It's all gonna happen, right? So, because I'd be bored, I'd be like, okay, well, let me make sure that I at least try to do this. I at least try to do that. I can't. So I don't ever want to be in a situation where like. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't give it my best shot. And the other part is, is that, you know, have you ever actually felt when you gave it your all, when you ever gave it your best? When you gave it your best, when you gave somebody like your best shot, you ever, have you ever actually felt? Time tells. Time tells. Because you can feel like you gave your all and tried to put your best one person. Shit, that work out. his his phrasing his phrasing was uh, it's not called heartbreak it's called heart shape and your heart you're you not you not love differently you move differently and so you go from this person and then the next person that you end up with you know what I'm saying well the one that you end up with not the you know I'm gonna say the next one but the one that you end up with, you'd be like, you know what? If I didn't go through this, I would have never been able to love you properly. You know what I'm saying? I would have still had this mindset. I would still have been talking this way. I would still have been doing certain things. But because I went through this, now I'm able to talk to you a certain way. I'm able to handle you a certain way. I'm able to care for you a certain way. Because I went through, you know what I'm saying, whatever I had to go through. And so, the, the heartbreak the heartbreak part it be some stuff man it be some stuff like for me now I know it's just certain people I can't trust you know what I'm saying and it and it be the ones closest to me betrayal never comes from a friend no betrayal never comes from an enemy it only comes from a friend it's the ones closest to you the ones who have access to you and then you start to realize who can and cannot have access to. And they always fuck up. They always fuck up. <laughs> That'd be the one jump. So for me, it was my uncle. It's my uncle, my sisters, my ex-best friends, the people I used to call friends and shit. They fucked up. They thought they, you know what I'm saying? They thought they had me. They thought they had me down and out. Nah, it's just, now I know who I can and cannot trust. And it's y'all. Y'all play, played my hand. Y'all thought y'all had it good and great. You got, you know what I'm saying? It's on the third. Um, and so it's, it's a lot of people that's like that. They think they got you, and they do shit. They do shit thinking they gonna get the upper hand. They think they got one, and then it's like, nah, bitch, you lost one. <laughs> you lost one, and you get fucked up for life because they didn't do some unforgivable shit. Now some people is in a the mindset they th they be thinking that that you're always gonna forgive them or something. And then it's that they do that shit that's unforgivable. You're like, yeah, bitch, like, that's it. You're done, you're dead. And that's how I had to kind of just live my life after that, bro. Like after after August and this and the third, I was like, y'all are dead to me. Like there is, I don't want y'all, yeah, like y'all are nowhere in no parts of my life. And like, that's how, like, that's how I treated my mom the first one, I went to whatchamacallit. Um, she almost didn't get invited to my graduation, um, my, my college graduation. Cause like you had nothing to do with these last four years, just cause you're my mom, you had nothing to do with my last four years. I wasn't saying with you. There was you didn't. Put, there was not. You have nothing to do with this. So why the fuck should you come? And they weren't at my uh, my um, when I got my masters. They didn't even fucking know. They found out that I was getting my masters through somebody else. And it was like shit's embarrassing. But bitch, you don't fucking support me and I don't, you know what I'm saying? We don't, I don't rock with you like that, so I'm not about to fake the phone. So, we had the drink for my sister. It's my sister's little thing that's on the third. And I forget who, they was, I don't know how the drink got out, but they was talking to somebody at this function. And then my sister was like, you know, you never told them that you was graduating next week? Like, cause it was just a function for my sister, but I was supposed to get my master's degree like the very next week or something like that. And she was like, they didn't know, they didn't say, you know, I'm like, I don't fucking talk to them. They, don't, I, they have nothing to do with my life. 
and so that's how I kind of had to make the past you know what I'm saying, few years of my life be like, like, because you get people who start to really, you know what I'm saying, they're, like, it's just, you know, you got that poker face, and some people just cannot, or like, they be trying to have that poker face, but then when some shit really be going on inside the third, like, it come out in the smallest ways and in, in any type of way, like, Bitches think they can find better, do better, and this and that third. I'm like, all right, bitch, go out there and find better and see better. And you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta let them find out. Right? You gotta let them find out. And bitches will do, I'm telling you, people do the absolute most, bro. People do the absolute most. And they be thinking you fucking joking and shit. Or they think they can be, you know what I'm saying? They can be able to come back around. Oh, it's a sad day in hell for bitches. It is a sad day in hell. It's a sad day in hell. I would, Cause niggas think that like there's a lot of stuff that I do now that I didn't do. I'll say even two, three years ago. There's just a lot of stuff that I do now that I just didn't do two, three years ago. Even the way I talk, right? But tip like but somebody now, like knowingly. Bro, I would cuss my the fuck out. And that's if I, you know what I'm saying? That's if, even if, I, if, I, if I feel like I don't want to. And it's certain, it's, certain, it's certain people like my ex and my uncle, them are two niggas I would say like, I hate you, bitch. I would say just like that. Like, bitch, I hate you. Get the fuck out of my face. I don't ever want to see you again. <laughs> that's the only shit I ever, like, but I never said that to either one of them niggas. I just stopped talking to them. I just blocked them and just changed my number so the niggas can't contact me. But that's the only shit I want to say to them niggas. But it's just like, man, fuck. You like, you like, man. Cause you be like, it's just certain shit you don't want to do because you got to sit there and wrestle with it. And like my bro say, like, you got to be the one to sit down in the mirror. You got to see yourself in the mirror and say, like, all right, boom. But it's certain niggas, and it ain't just them two. Them, them just the top two. Like, me having... Like me getting famous or anything like that, any function, any event, I'm like these two niggas can never get in. These niggas can never come around me. <laughs> Them are two niggas that can never come around me. Like my sister, she might get a pass every once in a while. My younger sister, she she caught a straight bullet. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? There. But my ex and my uncle, fuck no. There, 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 there's, a, there's a, it's not even like a up for debate. Like there's no contingency. Um, my ex best friend. That nigga, uh, I don't ever, I just, my ex best friend and my, and my aunt is them niggas. Them, they just knows, they just not hard knows. <laughs> them niggas just like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> and that's the only shit I'm gonna say to them, like, nah, just fuck you, bro. Like, even my aunt, bro, I remember time and time, man, it, it'd be some shit, like, niggas be, you be trying to get niggas a pass for certain shit. And you be like, bro, what the fuck, bro? And even just because they older or they when they went through certain experiences, people feel like they can talk to you a certain way. They feel like they got some more of this on the third. You're like, he be looking at you, be trying to just like, bro, what? I remember that's what happened with my aunt one time. She had said some wild shit, and I was like, oh, it was it was basically about her wedding. Nah, she got me. She got me down as one of her uh, the groomsmen at her wedding, and. She said some shit like, basically about me not coming or something. Or she she basically asked me, and I, she basically she asked me something along the lines of me not coming. Out. I was like, "You you saying that? You know, I could have said no right now and just said fuck all this shit. I'm not coming. I really could have said no just because you asked me some dumbass so I was like, but it was like you coming at me crazy talking like this on the third. And I can really just like you know what, fuck this shit. Would you be trying to be there for other people? <laughs> And oh, she went hard. When I when I went down to that mental asylum, she 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 came out hard. She was real. She was real live from my uncle's side and trying to you know what I'm saying sucking up for him and this and the third. And just knew she was this and the third. And when she said something, I said she had said, "I hope you go to your little appointment on Monday and the third. I said, "Bitch, this shit is optional. It's not mandatory. They said everybody up with this shit. 
I'm only doing it because you. Now, how the fuck do you even know about this when I wasn't the one that fucking told you about it? And they're like, you know how to say, keep house business, house business, but when I get the fuck out, everybody talking about my business, so what the fuck is going on here? Who's, who y'all getting for information from? And that's what, some people, some, some people are like, yeah, maybe she just didn't have all the facts, but why the fuck are you speaking if you don't got all the facts with all the information? Why are you talking like this? And so, but, but and you know what happened? Her and my uncle, this I knew this shit was fucked up. Both of them made a highlight just for me on their page. Like, nah, bitch, you know y'all, y'all know y'all was in the fucking room. I know y'all was in the fucking room for what y'all did and for the stance y'all took against me. All them niggas, every single one of them niggas, you can go back to any one of them, and all of them bitches is falling. All of them bitches' egos is bruised and hurt. My ex, my ex best friend, my sister, uh, my uncle, and my aunt, and anybody, my uh, even some of my frat brothers who helped me, all them niggas. Niggas can say whatever, whatever the fuck they want. I stir up niggas' demons. They come around me, they be thinking they're good, nigga. They got a certain image to maintain, but I'll say some shit about these niggas. And they be mad that I'll, I'm able to say some shit about them. They be mad, like, bitch, how, how are you gonna narrate my experience with you? <laughs> That's what Cat Williams said. You you was a you was a, a this to me, a this and a this. How, like, what the fuck? Niggas is mad that you you get up there and you gonna talk about them in a certain light where it's like i wouldn't be able to talk about you this way if you didn't do certain shit if you was if you was out here trying to cheat and messing with this person and that person i couldn't call you a cheater if you if i didn't have you on camera you know what i'm saying going through my house and stealing my shit i wouldn't be able to call you a thief if i if i if i didn't if i didn't have the information here and i didn't have these screenshots to, you know what i'm saying to show that you was lying about some shit then i wouldn't be able to call you a liar i wouldn't be able to call you these things if you didn't do these things and that's just shit. That's just that's just energy that you gotta wrestle with. So, bitch, don't be mad. that I'm talking about you a certain way. Don't be mad when I call you out for it. You know what I'm saying? For calling you out, you are what you are. And if I and if you ever if I ever get to see you again, and I call you a bitch, that's because that's what the fuck you are. If I call you a hoe, you a hoe, bitch. I shouldn't. Have, I, I wouldn't say these things if it, if it wasn't true. If I couldn't call, because you know, bros used to be like, you can't call her a hoe if you ain't if you ain't hit. How you can call a girl a hoe if you, if she, if you ain't had sex with her? You ain't fucking. But these niggas is hoes to me. These bitches is hoes to me. So I can call these niggas bitches and hoes. Because they did some fucked up shit. They're like, what's a hoe? A person with no loyalty. And that's all y'all ever showed. Y'all just, y'all played your hand. Y'all played the best the fuck that y'all thought y'all could do. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, it's like, I ain't never really had to even do shit. I just gotta be creative. All I gotta do is be creative. I'm talking about bitches is moms. Bitches' moms was even on some hating that shit. Fuck that nigga. Da, 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 da. You know, insecurity is a crazy thing, boy. Insecurity is so crazy. Because they pop out. And then it's like, damn, I really don't deserve a good person. Yeah, you fucking don't, bitch. And you, you proved this shit. You proved this shit. You proved that you don't deserve a fucking good person. You proved that you, you get the life that you deserve. You get the life that you live in right now, bitch. All of you niggas. You get the life that you deserve. And that's why I'm that's why I'm always gonna be honest and it's the third. That's how I'm always gonna talk about them niggas. Like, hell nah, fuck you. You are what you are. And they be like, money makes you more of who you are. So I done spent the last, what you call it, without it. And how did I turn into this? You know what I'm saying? How did I turn into this without any money? So what did that make me? Did I be, how did I become a star? If money makes you more of who you are, how did I become a star with less? And I'm still getting blessed, still passing the test, the universal test. And you getting blessed with mess. There's a message in the mess. It's shit like that. And he's like, how, can, how, how did that shit happen? How did this shit fucking happen, bro? <laughs> how did we get here? Let's talk about that shit. And, you know, insecurities play a crazy part, bro. Niggas will do some fucked up shit. They're like, oh, I think this nigga about to cheat on me, so let me go cheat first. That's what this bitch thought she was gonna be able to do. She thought she was gonna be able to cheat and you know what I'm saying, and not. And so, oh, see, Megan say some shit. Now, Megan had a bar, Megan had a bar. She said, if I don't, if I make up the rules, I don't think it's cheating. That's how this bitch was. She would start an argument some shit and then go out, go and get in a hotel room and fuck another nigga. She'd be doing this on the third. She, she was trying, and this shit, like, bitches would, she, this bitch would try to set shit up to cause an argument and I don't deal with the shit. I don't want to do it. I don't want to talk. I don't like. So I was just like this on the third, right? That would be her excuse to be like, "Oh, well, I had. Well, you ain't want to listen to me, bitch, and moan and complain. No, nobody fucking wants to listen to me, bitch, and moan and complain. But the next nigga will. 
after you hit, yeah, he'll, you know what I'm saying? After you suck this nigga dick, yeah, he'll listen to you. He like, oh, yeah, okay, this on the third. All right, bro, yeah. And then what, you, but what the fuck you about to do? You got to go back to your fucking stable home, bitch. Where shit is okay at. Shit is actually peaceful. You just, just you just causing shit. But some niggas is, is used to toxic, toxicity. Some niggas is used to toxic shit. So they just implement that. You know what I'm saying? They just used to seeing it. You know what I'm saying? So there's not a third one. And so. But I could really talk about them niggas for a long time. Bro. But I'm just happy that. For the most part, man, for the most part, them niggas never had another day in my life. And I just spent, you know, the, the past year or so, because of the shit, it was just like, the fact that the shit happened with my ex, it was like, then the shit happened with my uncle, and it was like, fuck, man, it was like family and that. And that was the what got me, bro. That's what got me. It was like, I'm dealing with both of them shits. And so, I was just so happy to get through Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving, cause I was like, I spent my last Thanksgiving was at my uncle's house. I'm like, fuck, now I'm at a now I'm at a different place. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm big on like, if it's holidays and birthdays, in my ho holidays and birthdays is a big fuck you. Like, you're not hearing from me on the holiday or your birthday, bitch. It's a really big fuck you. Like, I hope the message comes clear. Like, I'm ne I would never want to speak or talk to you the fuck again, bro. Like, that's how, when it comes down to holidays and birthdays, I was not talking to niggas, bro. I don't want to hear from, I don't want y'all to think like, oh, we might hear from him on, well, on Christmas or Thanksgiving. No, bitch, you're never fucking hearing from me. Those are like my big days. Like, those are days I really be like gung-ho about that. Like, yeah, I can't wait for this day. I'm not talking. <laughs> That's me. That's me on the other side. That's me. On my, that's my healing journey. <laughs> that's me. That's me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I say fuck you without saying fuck you. Like you just never gonna be able to talk to me again, bro. Like that's that's how I feel about shit. That's how that's that's how I carry shit, bro. And niggas be trying to maintain their they image, but hell no. But I was just happy I was able to you know what I'm saying continue living life without them and. You know, they say at some point, the truth does come to the light, right? And for whatever, whenever, whatever comes to the light, you won't see me. You won't see me. Like, you know how like Zion was messing with the porn star? And then what the porn star do? She want the money, she want the bag. But that nigga trying to go off and live in the whole other life. But what's she doing? She posting pictures. She trying to post the videos of him and her. She trying to post it down at third. And niggas look at her like, you dusty bitch. That's how niggas gonna look at my uncle, my ex, and all my best friends, all my like all my past friends and all and, and all of them. They are gonna look at them just like that. You dusty bitch. <laughs> Cause them niggas ain't gonna have shit to say. They can't say shit, do nothing. Cause all they matches is fucking green. Not delivered. Nothing. Ain't nothing coming through. You block bitch. So that's how, that's all this shit gonna say. He like, yeah. The niggas are like. Yeah, but why did he block you? Why does he not want to talk to you, but you want to talk to him? You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be shit like that. That's and that's just the energy that niggas gotta sit in. Cause you know, they be having certain mindsets to be thinking like that, oh, he might come back, he might no fuck, no fuck this. Like I didn't talk to my mom for seven years, bro, and I was proud of that shit. I was proud. Cause I had got to a point in my life where it was like, cause coming up, everybody wanted to give your mom credit for shit. I'm like, yo, she not taking the test. If anything, she's making this shit harder for me. This in the third boom, boom. She's not making my life easy, bro. And then, uh, so when I graduated from college, uh, the only reason, the only reason she even they even got an invitation was because my stepdad was driving across the, not even driving. My stepdad was riding a bike across the campus, and I just happened to have my shit on me. I was like, here, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? I I chased, I ran, I chased, I, I I ran up to him. Um, and I, I was like, here, bro, I'm supposed to be graduating. I gave him the tickets. That's the only reason she got they got invited to my uh, college graduation. And then when I graduated the next year, they wasn't there, but they wasn't part of that journey, bro. I didn't want shit to do with them. And when I got my first apartment, I got my first house, I had, when I got my first apartment, my first car and all this shit, I felt so good because all this shit was in my name. And I was just able to say, like, I did all this shit without you, bro. I did all this shit without you. And that's why it's like I'm 
I'm glad about this this part of my life where like it's on some shit where it's like I did all of this without you. Like you thought that with you you thought I was in a certain position with you in my life. Now I had to I cut you out my life and I was able to do all of this shit. So I'm just so happy that I'm able to say that. I, I was able to take these past few years and say, I did all of this without you. And there's nothing that you can even try to lay claim to, lay anything to. Like they, there's no association between me and you. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just I, that's how far I, I'm, I'm willing to take my life, bro. And I put everything on the line just for that. Just be able to say, nope. There's nothing that you can sit here and say that you have any attachment to me in my life, and that I owe you any fucking thing. I don't owe you shit. There's nothing. There's no fucking attachment between me and you. And so that's how I always want to be, bro. That's how I want to be. That's the mentality that I, I have, bro. Like, and getting down to such a point where it's like, that's it, you know what I'm saying? It's me, it's me and Bailey. Me, Bailey, and Crash, bro, we on, we on it. And now, I, I have, there are people, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna seriously say I've done this all the way. There are people who stepped in, who helped, and who invested in my journey, who's given me, you know what I'm saying? Um, who made sure I was able to get my stuff out of storage or I was able to have a place to stay in this cold. So yes, though those people, they're they're I'm gonna make sure because you know, there's certain people that you like you like, you know what? I I got ways. I gotta make sure. I put these people on. These people come for me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You wasn't shooting with me in the gym. You wasn't shooting. You wasn't, when I was practicing my free throws, you wasn't with me. You wasn't practicing with me. But then there, there are some people who, you know what I'm saying? When I was shooting, practicing my free throws, there's some people who was there who was with me in the gym. And those are the people that's like, those are the ones. Those those ones you gotta really, you know what I'm saying? Take heed to. <laughs> And, you know what I'm saying? Break bread with. I like the quote. He said, All I want, you. yeah, you can eat, but it's not at my table. Yeah, bro, like, you, you can eat. You just like eat with me. But you sit there, you know, but you get down, look up and see. You're in touch with it. You're not eating at my table. You will eat somewhere else. Yeah, I want you to eat. Go eat. Just not with me. It's not with me, bro. I can't wait, bro. Shit, that's in my head. I know where I can do stuff at the end, man. Even though it's small, it's a bit surprising. On my birthday week, so intentional. I did two pop up shops. You know I said? With the intention to sell my shirts and my books and whatnot. Ah, tomorrow, technically, tomorrow, should be having an unboxing for my sixth book. Tomorrow I should be unboxing my sixth book. And I'm just trying to figure out. I'm just trying to figure out. I love this about <laughs> But. I'll probably, yeah, let me see if I gotta do it. I'm gonna do a live or I'm gonna do a video recording. It deserves a video recording. You know, it's like, ooh, 84 on the time, 4, 4, 4. So it deserves a video on the time, you know? For sure. But if I ain't got no cigar, I'll probably just do a live. Probably just do a live. It'll be dope, though. Cause it's like, well, yeah, me writing books, me writing books is so easy. So I'm not gonna write my seventh book. My seventh book, not that it has to be, I mean, yes, it does have to be immaculate, but my seventh book, there needs to be a cause for me to write my seventh book. You know what I'm saying? And we're in the second quarter of the year. So the first quarter of the year, January, February, March, I published four books. So it's like, what's going? What are we gonna do with the second quarter? What's gonna happen? April, May, June. 
It's like, what's gonna happen in this next quarter? Like, I don't, me writing my seventh book has to be something major. So, major for me, I used to be very, uh, I mean, at some point, but it's like right, right now, owning a business, running a business is still, you know what I'm saying, high on my list of things. But getting a new car, getting a new car. The, the, my seventh book, this is this is what my seventh book is going to be about. One of the three things. One of the three things. Me opening a business, me getting a new car, or me buying land. Those, if I write if not if okay because I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to write it out some more books here. My seventh book is going to be about unless I write the porn book. <laughs> Okay, these are the, the my seven books are gonna be on one of four things. Opening my business. Like my I think my business is just business idea. Me open up the graffiti jungle. I kinda already did like my little grand opening thing, my little mobile t shirt, book business, whatever, right? But me getting a car is still the same thing. So me getting a car Cause me getting a car, I'm, I'm leaving the country. Like, yeah. but it's, it's still, I'm still trying to figure out how I can make. But then I'm not. I don't need to figure out the how. That's for that's for God. That's for the universe to figure this out. I get a car, I'm leaving the country, bro. Don't ask me where I'm going, cause I just cannot wait. This is how I'm going to do this shit, bro. I just, I just can't. Like, it's, it get me so excited too. I'm going to post pictures. And the captions, the captions are gonna say, if you're reading this, it's already too late. Like, I wanna post a picture. You know how you know how you drive into like a new state and it says welcome to such and such? I'm gonna take pictures with those, but then it's gonna be like a small little collection of those pictures. I'm gonna post those. It's, it's, it's like boom, 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 boom. But you gonna see those, right? But by the time I post that, I want to be in the whole other country. I'm like, yeah, by the time you're reading this, I'm, I'm currently in such and such. <laughs> you might have to look at the location. Like, yeah, I'm posting these from Nicaragua or something. <laughs> like, I'm going to be in a whole other country, bro. So if I get a car, I'm going to a whole other country. I'm out. I'm out. Um, but if I buy land, now buying land is just going to be, this is just different. Bailey! Ben, come here, man. Buying land. No, no, no. It's not just about land. It's just that you know, I want. I have certain conditions I want my land to be. I want my land to be. I want there to be water in my land. So whether that means I have a boat that I can go out onto, or I can go fishing, or if there's a big pond, whatever. I want my land to be near water. And I want a couple acres, you know what I'm saying? I want you to be able to look at the property and not know that there's a house on the property. Because <laughs> my shit could be somewhere in the fucking middle, or somewhere in the middle. Like, now, when you play Clash of Clans, that's you gotta figure out how to lay your land out and stuff. So you, you put your most important shit in the middle. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna take a while for niggas to get here. If somebody gonna try to rob this shit, oh, you had to really go far to get to the, yeah, so. But I want that, I want it to be so fucking hard. Like, you gotta, be like, damn, does anybody live on this property? Like, that's how big my, I want the, the land to be. And it, I don't need, I need, I'm a, I plan on building my own house anyway. So, the, the, the I just need the land. I'm gonna build my house. <laughs> But my seventh book is going to be about opening a business, getting a new car, because that means I'm going to leave the country, um, buying land, or I wouldn't mind the porn book. I really think it's going to be a good book. 
because if you write a book about all the sexual experiences that you have with a person and that's all the book is about niggas is gonna be reading that <laughs> that is that <laughs> now because i told you like there was an instance where me and this girl she, we crashed his wedding party and we took our picture and we got our first kiss on the camera i thought that shit was always dope that's why i always keep i always keep that picture <laughs> But if you always had, if you had all that shit, the first time you were kids, the first time you had all the times you had sex, all of that is documented, that shit would be fire too. That shit would be fire too. So, um, one of them books would be my seventh book. So that's why I'm not pressed to write a seventh book. Um, and then, uh, with the YouTube, like, they be having all these rules and this and that, there, da, 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 da. But I'm like, bro, I don't care about none of that, bro. Like, like, like my playlist for social media gems, niggas gonna be just go up there like any shit that I thought was classic or vintage. It made me laugh, or I just thought this was good, somebody's good singing, whatever. That shit going in there, bro. All the like that shit going in there. That's the social media shit. All the good songs that I like to hear. That's why I got my music video remixes. I do music video remixes to songs I like, for real, for real. I just want people to see that you're not letting it go. I'm not picking it up the ground. So, that's what I want my seventh book to be about. Um, yeah, man. I just be following my inspiration. Following my inspiration. I'm waiting for something to come. Or something to come. And I just remember it was that one time, bro. I damn um, This is how I knew the cigar talk was, you know I'm saying, one of the things I gotta keep going. Cause I remember, bro, I was asleep. I was like, I woke up and like, cigar talk. <laughs> I just grabbed the cigars and came outside. I was like, yo, I gotta do my cigar talk for the day. <laughs> and because I think this was about to be. I hadn't done it for the day and then think it was about to get dark and I was like, I can go outside before it's dark and do my cigar talk. But that's also why I can't wait to do cigar talk at night. I wanna get some firewood. And cause like my first time camping, I, I told you, I didn't know how to camp. So I just thought I could burn some shirts or I thought some wood was gonna burn. The wood don't burn, the shirt, and once the shirts burn up, that's it, you ain't got no fire. So, but that's actually fire side of wood you can get from like Walmart and stuff or like, yeah. So I actually know how to hold fire now. But I also have a grill, so I, either which way, one day I plan on having like a fireside chat, and that way, even when it's dark, you know what I'm saying, just lay outside. Bro, fuck, the eclipse is coming. I would do that shit for the eclipse, bro. I would do that shit for the eclipse. If I, fuck, if God wanted to happen, it'll, it'll happen. Shit, fuck. Bitch, young Shaq West said we getting really rich. Goddamn. Okay. But I want to do a fireside chat, bro. I want to, like, it, and I, I'll start this shit and I'll stream the whole fucking shit. I'll be like, all right, y'all. Because y'all know me in the streams, bro. I'll be on the streams for eight hours. I don't, I'll be, I'll do that, young bro. I'll be like, all right, y'all. We're going to go to Walmart. We're going to get this. We're going to get the lighter fluid. We're going to get that. Blah, 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 blah. I'll have it. We're going to prep for the whole thing. We're going to get some fucking snacks. We're gonna, we definitely going to have some snacks. We're going to have some. <laughs> this shit. This shit will be so fucking fun, bro. We're going to have some cigars. I got to have my cigars. I got to have enough cigars that last me the whole night. And some tobacco. Because it's like, just because. The breakup is. I'm going to be on this shit. This shit going to be fun. This shit going to be fun with me. I only got to do it with somebody else. I just do. I can do it for myself. I just got to be able to do it. Cigar talk. And then uh, I was excited during the day. We would stream the whole day. And then uh, when we came down to the night, uh, I would go out. I would go ahead and get that fire started once it get dark. And then we're going to be eating snacks. We're going to be picking out, boy. Now, if it's up to me and I can do it how I really want to do it, I'd even have an edible. But boy, <laughs> I have an edible on this thing. I have a, I'll take my edible when it get dark. Yeah, you got to space stuff out. You got you to got time stuff. You can't, you, can't, you can't just be, you know what I'm saying, over, overload. I would dag on I'll wait till it get dark, once it get dark, I'll start the fire up. Now, once I get the fire going and everything, I'll take, the, I'll take like one and a half edibles. 
And then, cause then you gonna get, you gonna get the munchies. So then when you start getting hungry, you start gonna munch on stuff. I'm gonna have my switch, we playing the game. But I'm gonna be kicking back, booing, bicking back, booing, eating some baklava bit bookies. So you gotta think about all your snacks that you wanna have. <sighs> I just wanna do this. I just wanna rock, rock, rock. So I would do that. I have edibles, I have snacks, cigars, tobacco. It's fucking lit. Camping outside. Now, that should be shit. There should be lit if you could do that during the clips. I'd be high as shit, man. I'd be high as shit. Body yada yada. So that's how I kind of want to do this shit. But now that I sat here and talked about it, I gotta think about well, what's the cheapest way I can kind of go on it. So it's really just those little fire starting matches, Jones. Then some charcoal. Charcoal and lighter fluid. Do I still have charcoal? Do I still got some charcoal? Because. I'm pretty sure I still got lighter fluid. I may not have any charcoal. Because if I got some charcoal with the lighter fluid, I'm gonna get the fire going. I gotta think about the cheapest way to make this show really happen. You get snacks and stuff from Dollar Tree. The only thing we lack here, you know, is the smoke, free smoke, free smoke, hey. Now, Shannon Sharp as Glorilla, a good question. He has two, two really good questions. Um, she's so chill and cool, huh? Um, like the last question, he asked her like, yo, in five years, matter of fact, cause I think she's 24 right now, but so he was like, matter of fact, you 30. What do you, what do you want to be able to say about your music career where you at is that third? She was like, I don't know, I'm still gonna be that bitch. That's how she ended that shit. <laughs> So I can't, you can't even matter her way. Like her, you know, her responses be so. Uh, she's like, I don't know, I'm still gonna be that bitch. You know what I'm saying? So that was a really good question, though. In five years, you know, so that's a question you gotta ask somebody. In five years, how do you see things going? Where do you, what do you envision? What do you really see it like? You know what I'm saying? So anything that I just kind of said now, it's like I have those. That's in five years, I have those things, and. The other question he asked her was, uh, when was, uh, I think he, I think, now, when listening to her, because you know, you're not, you're not, you're not supposed to compare problems or whatever, right? But sometimes it's good to hear that somebody has gone through something, either something similar you went through or whatever it is. So, for her, when you hear her, her mom, dad, 10 kids, um, sleeping on air mattresses, uh, never really having a bed to herself, never really having, I see zero, zero, zero in the middle of this 100 minutes. So she never really had a bed to herself. They used to sleep on air mattresses. They used to sleep on the floor. Um, so you hear her, like she's been through all of this. And she tried to work a little job here. She tried to sell a little this and a third. Um, it makes you like, okay, yeah, somebody else is also, her car got repossessed too. Her car got repossessed. 
Uh, so it's like, you hear somebody that go through all of this stuff, you know what I'm saying? And then he was like, he said, but you hear all that, and all of that, none of that is like, um, how do I say it? None of that is, he said, well, when was your lowest? When we were at your lowest, she was like, oh, I was at my lowest right before everything took off, you know what I'm saying? She was like, it was months before then. Because um, at first she said, you know, she was the person that people kind of came to for certain shit. And now, um, for her to be able to, you know, like, yo, I got to stay with this person, I got to access this for help. But uh, that was, you know, she said that was big for her. So, um, she was at like, her lowest right before everything took off. You know, she big on God. Those moments, those are really good moments, those are really good stories. But to be just like that, to be just like that, so. Yeah. 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 Fuck you, me. It's not going as hard as it was. Yesterday, that's another question. Where does the wind come from? What makes it windier? Other days and on other days, like some days you barely feel any wind, some days it's windy as crap. Where does all this wind come from? So, um, yeah, it's just a little bit cold today. So, you know how stuff be weather contingent. You gotta find a way, find a way to work around the weather. Um, um, Thank you.